Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Super Touching. Number six, if you're heading out this St. Patrick's Day weekend, you might find your favorite cocktail on tap. More bars are doing it. There has been a decline in draft beer, and bar owners are looking for other ways to utilize their taps. Some bars have multiple options, including mocktails. During the Eras Tour here in the States, some stadiums were serving draft versions of Lavender Haze. That's in honor of Taylor Swift's song. What's Robin. Lavender Haze? <laughs> it's in honor of Taylor Swift's song. No, I know. Oh, it's a cut. Here's the, what it is. It's a pre-mixed cocktail uh. made with vodka, fruit juice, and topped with edible purple glitter. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since when do you care what's in the alcoholic drink? I'm just curious, you know? Mm. Uh, all right, number five, Zsa Zsa Gabor's former Pink Palm Springs bungalow may have a new owner. Here it is. Check it out. It's a mid-century modern home with three bedrooms, three baths, large in-ground pool, and lots of retro design features. It's 3,400 square feet. It's everything you'd expect to find in an old Hollywood star home, mm. especially in Palm Springs. Lots of the decor and design is still the same as when <coughs> Jaja and her sister Magda lived mm. there. The most recent owner listed for $2.8 million. It was reportedly sold, and the sale is pending. Look at how ah, fabulously yeah, over the top. Is. It's old Hollywood right there. I love it. Uh, all right. Uh, number four, don't sleep on one pot canned tuna dinner. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream casserole. You've got all of the things, tuna, sharp cheddar cheese, maybe some yellow onion and crushed Ritz crackers or potato chips for a bit of salty crunch. What's better? Uh, the script says honestly nothing, but I would say honestly everything. <laughs> there are so many recipes online. All you need to do is Google it. And remember, if crunch is not your thing, opt for smooth and add some noodles in there. Oh, my mom used uh, to make tuna noodle uh, casserole with the crunched potato yeah, chips on top. I don't top. like hot uh, tuna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Not a fan. All right, number three, yesterday we told you how farm sinks are out, but what's in now? According to interior designers, hidden doors and secret rooms are in. More people are installing panic rooms in their homes to feel more at ease. Other people want places to store their valuables that aren't easily accessible. Others just like the idea of fun hidden rooms in their houses, and they're using spaces for game rooms and kids' play areas. According to the New York Times, the search for trap doors has more than doubled since last year. Wow. Interesting. All right. All right. Uh, number two, if you've got a problem, uh, maybe we can solve it. A woman <laughs> shared her dilemma with an advice column in the New York Times. Her husband loves to travel and always pays for, or pays for or gets an upgrade to first class. Uh, he puts his wife and kids in economy or economy <laughs> plus. Nope. He justify it, justifies it by saying the kids might feel alone with both parents in first class. Kids, for the record, but can't they are all go? 12 and 16. Oh, all in no. first class? That's mm. expensive. You can't get upgrades for all four people. There's well, then, no way. Then don't go at all. That, exactly. <laughs> he well, should be well, sitting no, with he, the family. He, when yeah. he goes to the gate, they probably have economy tickets, and he gets upgraded oh, when they get there. Then you offer that to your wife. At, yes. Because she's doing right. the work, let's yeah. be honest. Thank <laughs> you. Let's not get carried away there. <laughs> yeah. or he's he's oh. the one probably traveling 100 dates a year. So, yeah, lucky him. He, yes. he gets all these breaks all yeah. the time. So they can travel a hundred days a year for business is fun. Uh, uh, if you're trying to rag, wrangle toddlers all day, you'd like yes. a break in first class. Of course, yeah. these kids are 12 and 16. Yeah. So. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I don't know. All right, number one. More. I could say more, but I'd <laughs> rather not. Yeah. Uh, more fun videos from the 80s. How about this one from Culture Club? Chameleon. I don't oh, know 
That's you. terrible. Oh, it's the best. Mm, it's a hit. I'll tell you, Paul Conrad ended up on a golf course with the keyboard player for Culture Club. He did? Yeah. And he said the guy's well, some flex right there. Right? <laughs> the guy says the guy says, Well, I made a lot of money making really crappy music. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Good for him. And he had some catchy hooks. He did. It's great song. Yeah, here. I remember oh. my sister brought someone to the high school dance. This really tall guy and he kept dancing like this. <laughs> Is he still living around there? Oh, no. Well, you could. Oh, boy. I think he might. I don't know. Yeah. That's her story to tell. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go live, too. <laughs> at 6 and 6. Uh -oh.